got Brian here. In the last few exciting episodes, we have been building this beautiful Vitex deck. And in this exciting episode, we're gonna break down how much it's costing us to build this exciting deck. So let's just jump right into it. The framing for the deck, the joists, bearers, posts, all of that, came to a total of $3,398.75. We also have the concrete that supports all the posts, and that arrived on a truck, and we had to bring it in with a wheelbarrow, and that was $650. We also have to use stainless steel fixings on this deck because it's the type of treatment that's in the framing. So that's not cheap either. $497.67. For the last exciting episode or two, we've been installing the most beautiful part of the deck, the Vitex tropical hardwood from the Solomon Islands. And it's also the most expensive part of the deck. $6,405.62. Three hundred and fifty lineal meters delivery was included in there, and also I had to hire a trailer, and that, that cost money as well. The screws for the decking: Spex stainless steel screws with the subtle round cylindrical head on them. Seven hundred eighty-six dollars fifty-two cents. Weed mat that goes underneath the deck here, stop all the grass growing into my decking boards. Two hundred fifteen dollars. Oh, and ten cents. And I had to get new framing as we adjusted the design of the stairs. Um, and that was an additional $504.12. So now we are sitting at $12,458. And we're still building it, and I haven't bought the oil yet, and maybe some additional timber to finish off the surrounds. And that is Jess and I buying it with trade discounts, building it ourselves. And if you're a builder in New Zealand, you probably won't be surprised by any of this. I built a lot of decks like this, that's just how much they cost. Anyway, what about labor? I reckon for a deck like this, 15,000 New Zealand dollars. About that. And that's if this was a job. This is my house. So all in, we're looking at roughly 30,000 New Zealand dollars. And that's for this deck. Not all decks are alike. And that's the reason why I often don't talk about price because A, there's people watching from all over the world so prices are different. And B, well, most of my jobs have been client jobs and it's enough that they're letting me film on their job telling everybody how much they're spending is a step too far. But there are a few variables to consider. I mean, this deck is nice and close to the ground, which means easier foundations, no scaffold. I mean, look, I'm sitting on the ground here. Another variable is the style of decking that I'm building here. This is nice stuff that requires a level of precision, straight screw lines, routed edges, oiled end grain to make sure it doesn't split. The supplier even suggested oiling all four sides of the decking before installing it, but that, that's a step too far even for me. <laughs> and all these extra steps mean more money, right? So the more you can simplify a deck design, the less you're gonna spend on labor. Speaking of labor, let's build this other stair. You gotta move. We gotta finish this deck. You gotta go. So this little staircase completes the corner going to all line up with the external corner of the deck and it will have two treads on it and then the last tread the third tread will be out here separate from the deck and because it's separate from the deck we will build it so it looks separate we're about 24 which isn't isn't perfect. I'd prefer if it was about 22 millimeters. That's 17 millimeters for the decking that goes on the face and then a five mil overhang. But what's a couple of mil between friends? At least we're consistent. That's 24 as well. Looks like you've uh, come up with an interesting contraption. I see that you're busy doing important stuff, so I just need an extra hand to jimmy something up. Ah. <laughs> Who needs real tools when you can just improvise? Adapt and come. Wow! Now we are paying Ray two days a week, but the rest of the week I'm on my own and I'm really enjoying it. Like it's actually 
quite exciting to do this kind of work on my own house after years of doing it for clients. And it actually reminds me of being a kid because my dad did the same thing. When he bought his first house, he spent years renovating it. And I just remember being a little kid watching him do it. And now all these years later, I'm doing it on our first house as well. So that's nice. I like that. The slow process of making sure the borders look good. Got this nice border on here with the board at the back that is the right distance from here that will allow, what, three boards I think go in the middle? And then we've had to form this here, this frame, to keep that shadow gap design all the way around. That's why it's suspended like that, leaving the gaps, and it's allowing for the decking to go on the face. So yeah, a lot of time, a lot of time and effort goes into this part uh, to make it look right. But I think having these big ventilation gaps is a good idea and I like this shadow line detail. I think it looks classy. Is that framing over there, Raymond, nice and straight? It took forever. Bad away? Yeah. Advanced tech building with a high lift jack and a sledgehammer. I mean, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well we had to tweak things and, and get things straightened over in that area um, But also have the frame a certain distance from the cladding I'm just surprised how much the joist moved just sitting here in the weather. Yeah, it's drying out and Quite a few were a lot lower than before interesting right a lot of that will be the uh, moisture content of the individual timbers as well Yep. yeah, or did you sneak out at night and change them a bit? <laughs> Yeah, go for it. What did it do? Look, there's a fly right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good shot, good shot. What do you guys think of the Vitex? It's a really nice deck. We got Eva and Chris here. <laughs> Some of you may have seen them in previous episodes. How much did you guys spend on your deck, building your deck? I don't know. We were too scared stuff. to work it out. <laughs> 30k? Maybe. And that's you. Balustrade and it's stuff like, like that. Because it's up the to top, it. it's balustrade, all the stuff. Like yeah. Purple hard timber, which wasn't cheap. You yeah, got those, yeah. those big stairs that came down, all the balustrade yes. we made. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. And you're up yeah. high. Yeah. And Balust you guys are building it though, right? Yeah. Yes. But balustrades are really expensive, eh? Yeah. Jeez, they're expensive. Even as builders, even though we're doing it, it yeah. still costs us a lot of money. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, oh, look our reno it's not at much the moment. Cheaper. Yeah. Look our reno at the moment. We've got um, living room. Dining room, um, what else? Pantry, kitchen. Yeah. It's everything with floor, jib, paint, electrician, plumber, everything. It's about 90k. Yeah, wow. And it's yeah, and it's us builder doing it. Hi, uh, am I borrowing am I borrowing tools or what's yes. happening here? Oh my god! Alright, it's been two straight days of me by myself laying the sticking and that included the inset boards and the stairs that we built and then from the stairs this way. A lot of work. That's two days, one person that's cutting them and drilling and screwing. Yeah, so 350 lineal meters, I reckon a week, week and a half and then another week for the foundations. So that's two and a half weeks, two builders full time. Multiply that by whatever your builder charges you, or if you're a builder, whatever you charge. You should be pretty close. I'm charging myself nothing, of course. Paying Ray for two days a week. That's why it's taking a lot longer. And this is a long way of saying there'll be more decking in the next exciting episode. But anyway, decks are expensive, especially this style of deck. But the good news, always need good news, is that there are other ways to build decks. Ray is actually renovating his own house as well, and it's a similar age to mine, and they're gonna build like a wharf style deck. They don't live on a lake or anything, but they are gonna incorporate that aesthetic, that 
thick boards, twice the thickness of the decking boards I'm using, and rough sawn boards rather than perfectly machined timber. The idea behind that is that the deck is more of a part of the outdoor landscape and sort of blends in with the yard more. Then you don't have to be so precise. And there's a possibility there that it's cheaper because it's more simple to build. It costs a lot of money to build stuff, which means Jess and I have a big 2023 as we try to complete this renovation before the end of the year, which means we have to be pretty smart with our money. Anyway, I bought a toy gun for shooting flies. This is not an ad, by the way, I bought this thing. You just fill it up with regular table salt, fill that right up, clip it in, and the most important part, locked and loaded. If you want to buy one, they're not cheap, but um, that's what they're called. And then you gotta do the hard part, which is find a blimmin' fly. I honestly can't find them. Like, usually they're everywhere. Maybe I killed them all. Alright, we'll try again in the next exciting episode. Oh, and we'll also build the deck as well. It's nice, but it's annoying. Shush. Oh, it's a fantail. Pee waka waka.